Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This is a uh, feud battles with Gunther. You can see here he's going against uh, Corbin. <clears throat> this one I only had a 20% strap on Gunther. I do have the all heart plate. Uh, we got Sting and Lawler, so all of the moves are loaded. Uh, this feud battle there was times two. Uh, line bonus in multiply gems, so they're a little bit bigger. You can also see I'm using uh, Ray and Hall of Fame Hall, so I can choose as many green gems as possible. This one, things did not go very well. I didn't have very many multiply gems left. Uh, it still ends up doing okay. Uh, that was 8 million damage there. Also, I believe... Um, I don't know if um, how Corbin had the trap set. I think he might have dodged. I might not have started recording right away on this one. Um, or I just wasn't paying attention there while we are doing this. Anyway, uh, next you can see me going against Nakamura here. And it's not really a big deal what level they are. It's more I want to show you the speed and the damage on Gunther. Uh, he's about 45 seconds, uh, 50 seconds this way, depending on your choose with two times speed. Um, so that's pretty solid. I was concerned about the five match of blue there, um, but I hit the sub anyway. You can see uh, it did indeed cost me a bunch of silence gems, but still have a decent amount at the end of this. And the key here is really the big choose. Uh, I've tried this build set with less choose, and it simply doesn't go as well. Um, and obviously, if you had Goldberg, you would use Goldberg instead, and that would make it much easier. But you're going to see here, that's a 14 million hit with a 20% strap. Uh, very, very good, right? Very good. Uh, so we're going to see him here. Again, it's a lower level Logan Paul, uh, five-star gold, but doesn't matter. It's to show you the damage on the hit, because he was one-shotting everyone, right? So I just recorded... Um, did, I did the, the, his matches doing two, not as efficient on feud points. Uh, I did it simply for the videos. Excuse me, so I recorded two at a time. Um, and again, it's really simple. Jug down, sub, and then blow up the multiplies that are left. Again, Logan's health doesn't matter. What matters is you guys can see the speed, uh, the gameplay, and how hard he's hitting with a 20% strap. This one, a lot of uh, I do have Max Fury medals. Uh, Fury 2, but uh, I think this one is a little more achievable to run than some of the other builds. Uh, all heart plates, one of the more available sub plates. That's not saying it's very available, uh, but people have more of that than anything else. That was a 12 million hit right there. Um, and I think this will surprise a lot of people. Obviously, Gunther hits harder with the Juggernaut build when you do like a 5 and a 3 match and stuff. Uh, however, you guys know me, I don't do five and three matches in feud. So this is my preferred preference for Gunther. You can hit harder with the other build set. We're going to go against six star KO here. Uh, striker. This is definitely my preferred feud set. I can feud with this set all day. Uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit, actually, and was pleasantly surprised at how hard it was hitting with a 20% strap. So if Gunther is on your, if you have him and he's on your list, I think it'll be interesting choices between him and um, Cody and um, Cowboy Bob now, right? Very interesting choices for people. I want, I will feud with Cowboy Bob as soon as I can and do one of these videos on Cowboy Bob as well. So you have a comparison. I think I'm going to release the Cody video before this one. So you guys should have that comparison. I'm taking all day to choose right here. Um, but even still, it's not that slow. And that was a 12 million hit again. Okay, here we go. But yeah, that way you'll have a Cowboy Bob feud, Cody feud video, and a Gunther one. So you guys can do comparisons and see, like, do I want to take this one silver? Do I not? Do I want to take this one bronze? Do I not? Um, and that should be helpful. Uh, but the Cowboy Bob one is obviously going to have to wait till we have the Flash Feuds, um, which uh, this video should be out before then. I'm going to release these while I'm on vacation. So I have some content for you guys while I'm on vacation. 
Also, let me know if you want to continue to me to make these uh, feud videos with how I'm feuding. Uh, and then for people that have asked why I don't stream on the weekends, that's because Mrs. Merrick's is home on the weekends and I do not want to stream, right? And also I take the weekends off generally from the game. I play the events, but um, I try and keep it as low-key as possible. It's my time to refresh, if that makes sense. Anyway, another great hit, uh, 11 million down to 10. Uh, you can just see, like, uh, Gunther just gets it done, right? Uh, the one, the, the couple targets I would probably avoid is people like 1 MP guys. You don't want to do 1 MP guys with this. And then if they have a skill plate that can load them during the sub, you might avoid them too, uh, just so you have less issues with them being loaded and things like that. I had a feeling he might dodge, so I did put a prop in, um, which I will do against Tricksters because dodge infuriates me to no end. So that's why I put the prop in. I don't know if he, I can't remember if he dodged or not, uh, but let's see. Uh, Tricksters can't dodge subs, by the way, but they can dodge the Juggernauts. And of course, I didn't put one in for the red, so that would be funny if he dodged the choose. But I don't think so based on the time left on this video. So yeah, here's him again solo. Me uh, very much like, oh, what do I choose? And in the end, it doesn't really matter. He hits hard enough. You can just fly through this choose and you're going to do enough damage. Um, so I wasn't playing it super fast, but choosing is not my strong suit either, right? That's a 12.2 million hit. And then finally, we're going to have two more battles coming up here. And none of these were cherry picked. I just recorded them all one after the other. So you guys could see what would happen. Um, for the most part, don't check trainers. Although I think I do in this video, uh, on the next battle. But yeah, I really enjoyed feuding with Gunther as well. Not as fast as Cody, uh, but I liked not having to do a five match. And honestly, I was surprised. I did not think it would hit this hard um, consistently. I really didn't. The extra choose in feud from the perks doesn't hurt at all. One extra gem sometimes makes the difference between connecting two more multiplies. Obviously, uh, with the big multiplies magnified by the all heart plate boosting it, the greens 100%, that can be potentially a huge difference maker. That was a 14 million hit on that one. And you're going to see the, <clears throat> the last one here uh, coming up. And yeah, I just had a ton of fun with uh, Gunther actually. Uh, very smooth. Faster than I thought he would be, too. Uh, 50 seconds is not the fastest fastest. My fast guys are right around 30 seconds. But it's not slow, right? It's certainly uh, usable. We're going to see him against uh, Steiner here. I think triple purple Steiner. Yeah, triple purple Steiner. At this point, I had a lot of confidence in Gunther and what he could do after the matches. And, like, yeah, it's just, he's kind of a, I, I again, I'll say it again, I was shocked. So, uh, after feuding with him with this setup, he definitely went up, in my opinion, in where I would rate him uh, overall on text because... Uh, I didn't have to do the five and three juggernaut. I didn't have to have Goldberg. Um, I didn't have to have a hundred percent gem damage strap equipped to him, right? And he just he just got it done repeatedly uh, with ease. There, that's a thirteen point six million reduced to eleven million hit. I'll just play this in the background uh, while I finish up talking for this video. You've already seen this, uh, but I'll just play it again while we're talking. So yeah, Gunther. To me, right now, my top three uh, technicians for me um, are going to be uh, Cody, Gunther, and Cowboy Bob. Like, I would say those are my top three based on how I like to play, how they performed uh, so far. Cowboy Bob, I know he's going to destroy powerhouses in feud. I'm really, really curious how he does with the sub and how quick that build is when I'm not going against powerhouses. Uh, that could really tip the balance 
uh, for Bob because he's got the powerhouse build set, which is just going to slap. I also want to see time-wise, right? Like with that build, how long it takes on powerhouses and stuff like that before finalizing like my feelings there. But I really feel like these are my three favorite techs right now. Um, in the game. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments of this video. I hope you enjoyed the Gunther gameplay. Uh, please give feedback on what you like with these, what you don't like, because I'd like to continue to make this a series for me, because uh, I'm actually having a lot of fun with it, and it makes Feud more interesting for me too, which is important. Um, so if you want to see me do something different with it, if I have superstars on my roster that are six star, I am happy to use ones I wouldn't normally use in Feud. Uh, if you guys really want to see them. So if you happen to know what's on my roster, that six star, uh, let me know and I can try and work those into some feud videos. Um, but yeah, hopefully you're enjoying them. Uh, should still be Brawn to come and then this next round of feuds, I'll try and record some more uh, and release them as I get time. Cause it's a little more effort for me to do these, not a ton, but a little bit, uh, but I am having fun with them. So uh, remember to like, subscribe and share uh, because you know, that really helps me out and yeah other than that guys uh good luck out there and have fun Yeet.